This week on the Property Hillbillies, we lay some flooring in the kitchen, Ash is painting and singing, and we get some tiles on the fireplace. And a lovely morning it is. So nice sitting at the at the table with the doors open. I just cannot wait till we've got a deck going out there and it's gonna be so nice. Anyway, today back into the laundry. Our plan is to get it completely finished. Um, Ashley gave me orders that the cabinet must be up today and I certainly plan on that. Tile, finish the uh, skirtings, paint the window get the cabinets up, paint the cove. It's gonna be uh, pretty much completely finished. So let's finish breakfast and crack right into it. Right, we've got our resin quick dry, uh, quick dry for the undercoat. Let's turn these windows from lead into gold. This quick dry is awesome for um, exposed wood. I've probably mentioned it before. So let's do a little before and after. Okay, so we've got this cabinet up. Uh, it's looking good. So the laundry is really coming along quite nicely. Um, I've got the first coat of the Easy Dry on the window. Um, so then I'll give that a light sand and another coat of that. Uh, yeah, so there's obviously the tap's gonna be here. So I've put this cabinet just slightly higher than, than what uh, I would normally put, say your kitchen cabinets. They would maybe be that high. Um, but I just feel like because it's a laundry and you, you might often be doing stuff in the sink here, put a little bit higher. Obviously the blue is just the um, cellophane on the outside. They're actually high gloss white cabinets. Uh, I've got plaster in the corners, so I need to wait for that to dry and then you can sand that and paint that. Uh, yeah, but we've got our skirting on, looking good. Yeah, the whole laundry is coming along really nice. It's a massive, massive bench. I don't know what we're going to do with all that space, but We've got white tiles that are gonna run across here. I'm just waiting on word from Ashley whether she wants the tiles to go all the way up to the cabinet or not. So yeah, I dare not do it until I find out what she wants. Right now this bench top is perfectly level so we just go along with the top of that bench top, things are gonna be good. These are the most tricky parts, getting around your power points. So you obviously need to cut that out so that it fits on top. Um, and the way to do that is you're gonna need your grinder and a diamond blade because a normal blade will just not get through it. But we're going along so far, so good. So we're gonna actually only go up to about here across both sides. And this is why you always get a couple extra tiles because as you can see here, I screwed that one up. Yep, that's good. Okay, so we've got our tiles on. Let's have a look at what we're looking at here. Um, obviously the degrouting's not been done yet. But yeah, not looking too bad. I S sort of said to go halfway up, but I sort of wonder if I should have gone one more, one more tile high. Kind of just feels like it might be a little bit short. Hmm, but we'll wait, wait till she gets home and see what she says. So for these white tiles, um, Ash decided she wanted to go with white grout. So it's a white on white. All right, how are we today? So, uh, it's a pretty nice little old uh, Sunday today. And coving, into the coving. Ashley's just sort of chipping away at some windows and stuff while I'm cutting our cove. Um, yeah, so 
plan is basically to work our way around here, junk, junk, and um, we're thinking if we can try and get the kitchen, maybe in the dining room done today, uh, just chip away at it. We'll just see how we go. Um, yeah, that, that's about it really, not much to say. Uh, laundry, we might try and get some handles and stuff on here later. And, oh Ash, you could, um, you can sand those corners and paint that cove too. Yeah. Is that ceiling paint you've put on there? Mm -hmm. Oh yep. Yeah. yeah, if you paint that up, that'll, you could actually do these architraves and stuff as well. Yeah. Don't give me jobs. <laughs> podcasts in other styles and genres check out alone a love story okay didn't really get much video of that um because we were busy doing it uh only a small amount of Tourette's but it's actually ended up coming up really nice got some really nice joins there which is very good as you can see makes a big difference before obviously you could see straight through into the roof but we've decided because it's a Sunday and uh, yeah, we've had enough for the day, so time to go to the pub, I think. Have a little, have a little brew, game of pool or something. Hey boy. You can do too much because they always show up. Nice, nice little handles. See, we've already got a couple going on. Yeah. Have more over the there. That on her skull. Looking good. Oh, I got so far. <laughs> like three quarters of the way around the room. One thing, little tip, I'm no painting expert, but if you pull off the tape while the um, paint is still a bit tacky, like before it dries, uh, it's gonna come up much better. The, paint's gonna, the paint won't sort of lift back up, which can happen, because then it can lift right back up off the tape back up onto your thing. So take it off when it's still a little bit tacky. Good morning YouTube, how are we? Well, uh, so I actually came home yesterday and the laundry is looking nice and tidy. So the tap's not on yet. Um, we need the plumber to come and do that properly. So it's not a major right now. Um, but apart from that, the kickboards, I realized that we didn't get a high gloss one and I thought it would be okay. But because the rest of everything else is gloss, um, we've decided we're gonna take that back and the piece that fits here ended up being not the right piece. Really hard to find these panels at the moment. So um, yeah, but aside from that, it's looking very nice. Uh, in terms of a before and after, this is gonna be one of the craziest before and afters. Here's what it looked like before. And here's how it looks now. So today I'm gonna to continue on uh, in the kitchen here. Now that the laundry's pretty much done, uh, it's time to sort of finish up those last few bits in the kitchen, which I haven't. Things like the kickboards, uh, we've got the coving. So we've got the coving up, but we need to get some plaster on, uh, give that a sand and paint it. I need to finish that skylight bit, needs a bit of plastering. Um, actually need to organize a skylight now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna get into some coving. And I just sort of realized that I think I can do it on my own. Um, the pieces are probably just, just at the length where it's just the maximum amount I can do. Um, but because it's big, thick 90 mil cove, it doesn't really bend as much. So we'll give that a go by ourselves. So we've got a butt joint here, so just gonna go on, get a bit of plaster, nice and easy, and just smooth out that butt joint. You don't wanna put too much plaster on because you're gonna have to sand it back by hand and mark the name on a piece of paper. What did she mean by maybe this will help you? Jeremy soon sees the woman again in town and asks her name. So, I noticed at the top to Fred, but 
What was your relationship like with Carrie? So well, the doc man, or E.B. as Ian calls him. The man Ian says was with him on the Thursday night and Friday of Carrie's disappearance. My mother used to babysit them. Oh, was that right? And right, knowing that we and Ian united again, he's not going to listen to music. You know, he's like that. So Ian does the RCMP look at Ian's car, though they did take the whole family. Relations gone broken. Oh, uh, is this Tara? It is. Hi, David. Hi. I've got uh, Jana here with me. Hi, Jana. Hi, David. I've contacted RCMP in Winnipeg for a Okay, that is the coving and the dining room done. Let's have a look. Looking really good. The other side is car. Lizzie and Curtis. Uh, they're going to have to ride for drop. Yeah, that's going to be around here. Okay, that's the dining room almost done. Uh, as you can see, I haven't gone around this part here. That's enough for today and I've actually, I think I've pretty much run out of cove now, but got around there and it's looking good. Around to there. So yeah, I'll just do this last little bit. Uh, yeah, it's been a good day. What's it, half past four. Take the dog for a walk and uh, clean up. Bit of mess to clean up as there usually is with this stuff. So that's it for the day. Bye bye. What are you doing right? Oh Jesus! What are you doing right? Oh Jesus! Simba, what are you? Jesus, it's it's chaos. Oh my god! Oh my god! What she's on edge, isn't she? All right, welcome back. How are we today? Ashley's home, and she is bogging up some uh, architraves, some nail holes, and things like that. And she's terrified, as you saw before. Well, we were just listening to a podcast one minute, and then... <laughs> and then the next minute someone yeah. says, oh, what are you doing there? Yes. And I am... So I've obviously got all this coving up, um, and I've plastered the little bits and pieces, joins, any spots that I had to put screws in. Uh, and now I'm going around and sanding those. This room had a few screws. This one, it's not too bad. Uh, and the lounge is actually pretty good. So heading around, doing that, and then once we've got that sanded, get it painted and it'll look really nice. And uh, yeah, then we'll just keep going from there. Ash is gonna do a bit more on the laundry. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. It's a Monday evening, which makes two thousand four hundred and ninety-nine. My good friend. But everything's changing unconscious. When she came around, her attacker, she's carrying a Don't think to work. They find lots of Oh no. But the dog's gonna walk it onto the carpet probably. Oh okay. Nice and slowly. So we look here. As you can see we still just have a little bit of clean up to do. Will it go right around the corner? Oh yeah. Go baby. Oh, I don't think it's going to extend onto the small one, will it? And it's coming down the outside. And it's coming down the outside. Oh yes, it's extended onto the small one. And the small one's coming up the outside. Can it get all the way around the corner? We're coming up to the home strip. Oh no. Looking good. Looking good. Step into the kitchen. You can see we've got a first coat on in here. 
which is also looking good. But that's it for the day. So I'll see you tomorrow and we'll get the coving finished up and some other stuff. We just found out it's lockdown level, well, level three for another few days. That means Ashley doesn't go back to work so she can help me on the house. Oh, what's Macy up to? Mace, what are you doing? It's a new day and new first day. thing of the day is to cut this ugly mop off. Gets to a point where it just pisses me off because it's so long and lucky we've got a hairdresser but it's quite often to actually get her booked in so today's the day. Three, two, one. There we are, all done. Not too bad. Lockdown Kind of matches my new mo that I've been growing. So I need to have a shave. All right, now on to the day. Um, finished doing what we started yesterday, which is uh, these doors, architraves, get that tidied up. And uh, yeah, maybe this little area, maybe into this. Who knows? Who knows what the day might bring? Action. Slapping it on, slapping it on. Slapping it on. So you can see she's done a good job on her taping. Uh, she's already bogged it and sanded it. It's looking good. This is just quick dry. It's got a... Got a resin so quick dry? It's resin quick dry. I'm slapping it on because it has a light sand when it's dry. So don't worry if you can see my brush strokes, Amy. <laughs> this girl is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, welcome to another day at the Blue Palace. Well, formerly Blue Palace, now I suppose we could call it a Pearl Palace. So, Ashley's busy on the window here, sanding up final touches because we want to get that window and that door completely painted and finished today. Uh, the house is going to feature in the resine. Uh, weekly thing called Habitat by Razine and if you haven't subscribed to that make sure you check it out go to Razine and subscribe to Habitat by Razine and you can see the house so we're going to have the dining room and the laundry in next week's edition uh, so we just want to make sure we get that as ready as we can and uh, yeah so we're just going to crack into that and um, yeah cue working montage job on it. Hey, <laughs> she's done a good job on this window, uh, this door over here. Looking good. Now, time for lunch. I'm hungry. We find out next week if Semper's going to have uh, puppies. Well, he's going to be a daddy. We might, he might be a dad and he we're going to get a, a new pup. There'll be a new addition to the wolf household. A new wolf, baby wolf. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Macy over in the background there will be really happy about that. <laughs> What's Ryan cooking? I'm just going to cook up a little wee, uh, going to go for a little wee stir fry, throw some eggs in there, make a bit of a, you know, how's your father? Yes. All right, here comes your lunch. Ooh. Here we go. Ooh, smells nice. That's what we have around here. This is everyday lunch around here. Yep, never anything other than this. All right. Let's taste. Did you taste test it? No. Oh, no. <laughs> that it. gone bougie. Mm. It's always nice when you put these in to see if they fit. Yeah. That. Oh. 
this fucking gun, I swear to God. It's cool looking. Let's put it outside. Oh, come on. Come on. You don't look like you're too good right now. Get on there. Oh, fuck, it's going up my shirt. God, I missed my nail gun. Good morning, it's a lovely blue day out there. Look at that, stunner. So we're going camping today. I decided, you know, it's that time of year. I said, Ashley, all right, you're going camping, get your stuff ready. And this is what she puts together. No, we're not going to Fiji. We're going, <laughs> we're going camping, we're like a hike. And this is, this is what her thought of that is. Anyway, uh, we're going to a cool uh, wee campsite they've never been to before, at, which is out Coromandel, and you can take the dog, there's a waterfall walk, so yeah, let's jump in the car, go for a wee drive, and we'll see how it turns out. Hey Sam, he doesn't even know how exciting it's gonna be. Boy's having some issues here with this pool, he's already hit that sign, old mate's putting some fucking weight into it, Yeah, bent it right over, who cares. She looks like she's about to shoot like a an Adidas commercial or something. Work it, work it. Yeah, so we just go get here and then I realise that she's brought her brand new shoes that she got for her birthday. Well, no one fucking and, told me it was And look how muddy. clean they are, like they're probably going to get wrecked. Well, I didn't know there was mud. thought it was just a hike on the gravel. Well, it may be, I don't know. She's looking pretty good so far. Is that your seat? Yeah. What if it breaks? The mud is pretty good. I'm tempted to hop in. It is freezing cold, but... Don't push you in. No, don't push me in. I really need to throw a sinker in. Throw a sinker in? Just throw him off here? Yeah. No, because then we'll breach his trust. We don't want to do that. I, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's a caterpillar. It's a caterpillar hanging in the air. Does it need help? Yeah. Is it alive? How the hell does it get all the way down? Yeah, it is. Ooh. Put, put it, it over there on that branch. This one? Yeah. Oh! Well, what, you just killed it! You made it! Rate the difficulty, one out of one to five. 4.8. No, I'm just kidding! <laughs> Did you send in that Yes. That'd be so. Right, I'll give you a wee look around this uh, campground. So, got some kids playing down there. So it's actually a really, really nice little spot. It's got heaps of different, different areas. See over here. Nice, uh, nice wee open area through here. I guess they must open this up in summer, but very cool. You can imagine this packed out in summer. I think Manuka trees all over the place. Really cool, and it heads right back up through there. You got your barbecue facilities, your toilet, showers, and that kind of jazz. Yeah, very nice. Wentworth Valley Campground. It's run by Doc. Pretty cheap, 15 bucks a night for um, for adults. So not bad at all. But so this is our little uh, little squab that we've put up. We just bought this today because we went to go camping and then we went in the shed and realized we don't know where the tent is. So on, lucky on the way, we were able to pick this up. Just a cool little hundy. Uh, yeah, so in here we've got the princess. <laughs> She's assumed the position. Yeah. She's got a belly full of burger. It's cold. It's not really cold. Mm, it is. Uh, yeah. So I figure I might, uh, I was tempted to have a wee little glass of a little Pinot Noir um, and uh, maybe put the billy on later, make a little coffee. So Simp is loving it. There's dogs everywhere. Hey Simp, he's had a pretty good day. 
But yeah, might sign off for the night. Oh, there we go, dog. A moment of excitement. Does that mean it's done? Yep. Spoiling baby. Ooh, okay. Come on, come Taking on. it off. There's nothing quite like a camp coffee. Is it okay? How are we? Welcome to a rainy day in Pataru. Now, Ash and I have just been to Mitre 10 in Tauranga because of lockdown, of course, and picked up some tiles for the fire. Now, you may hate them. I don't know. I think we're going to get mixed messages on these tiles, but this is what we've gone for. Uh, it's like a marble type of a look, um, and they have a gloss. So, this is what we're faced with here. This ugly monstros monstrosity. So the tiles are going to obviously come up round the top like so. And then um, the flashing from the fire will actually come out a bit around that. And the fire will slot in there. And it should look fantastic. Well, that's what we're hoping. Anyway, uh, what do you think, Ash? On it. Yeah. <laughs> On it, all right. Okay. Okay, so got the first couple on as you can see. So with these, we're actually not going to grout them. We want them to sit flush together. Um, just try and give it that kind of cleaner finish. So I've mixed up a um, nice batch here and we're going to really slam it in here, fill all these gaps and get as much as we can. And then hopefully everything, I've been trying to plumb it all up and hopefully it comes out right. Let's have a look. Too much glue on, I'm sticking out. Push it in, you'll be right. Careful, just don't crack. crack. Yeah, you hold a second, I'll quit thinking. I'll go get a bit of water. Fuck, I've got this glue all over my feet. It's gonna get, isn't yeah. it? Okay, so this side's good. I'm happy here. I'm Is happy this, in the middle. I think this will be fine. Well, there we go. Um, I think once the fire's in there, you'll have that dark, and then actually with the black trim around the edge, that'll, that'll look better. I guess it'll be nice, it just kind of blends in with the wall. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, Ashley's vacuuming up in the kitchen because I've just been doing a job this last week. And it turns out they had some of these left over. Some planks. Now we're planning on continuing the tiles around into the kitchen, but until we get that sorted, because um, it's pretty hard to get anyone booked at the moment, Figured we might as well throw these planks down. Now I did a deal because they had extras, 15 bucks a box and we only need four boxes. So 60 bucks and we can put new clip flooring down on the whole kitchen. So we figured we might as well do that. Um, and it will make the kitchen look a lot nicer. Ash is doing her bit. So yeah, this is the state of it before. All right, so that's it there. It's actually not so bad looking like a sort of brownie grey kind of a board pattern. Right, so I've never done this stuff before, but it, it's not that hard from my understanding. These bits just click in somehow like so. Now, like I said earlier, this is just temporary until we get our tiles done eventually, so I'm not putting any waterproofing or anything underneath it because bugger it. Uh, right, so that one's there. Where's the stagger? Oh, yep, hang on. It's to be there. Right, 
take this tape right off of here. <gasps> no? We haven't cut it right. <laughs> oh, it's the other piece I want. <laughs> We're getting some rather complex little pieces here. Uh, let's see. I don't have high hopes. Ooh, actually. I think that's gonna fit. Pretty good. Happy with that. Hey, the time is 5.03. Started that about three hours ago. Let's have a look and see what she looks like. It's gonna be a quick sweep up. Boom. Look at that. Looking pretty good. Got around the fridge and stuff. Obviously, um, we need our kickboards to come down. But yeah, Ash is very happy and I haven't done inside that little pantry part yet. But I've gone inside here. But yeah, looking really good. So that took three hours and ended up costing us 60 bucks. So, <laughs> And a lot of happiness. And a lot of happiness for this one over here. See that one right there. You know, sometimes it's good. Focus on two things, guys. You want to focus on your laundry and your, your kitchen. Wife. No, I was going to say your laundry and your kitchen. <laughs> ha ha. But if you look at those things, happy laundry, happy wife, happy life. Right? So they say. So, so they say. Anyway, um, yeah, that's going to do it for this week. And uh, yeah, I might go edit up a video for you. It's been a little while. Thank you for watching. Uh, and we'll see you all next time. Make sure if you like the video, only if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Bye bye. Clean shoes. Oh, yeah, look at that. Shoes are clean, so. Billy, I don't listen to Billy fucking Eilish ever. I'll just get that thing straight. We don't listen to fucking Billy Eilish around here no more, no more.